Back to L.A. Noir. We need to go back to Levine's liquor store. It turns out uh, there were a couple things that we forgot to ask the bartender. You know, the guy who was keeping her there for a number of months. Why didn't we? I don't know why I didn't interview him. It didn't. It didn't occur to me. I thought we just need to look around her things, and that was it. But uh, this case is not over yet. Let's find out if he's lying. He probably is. Well, I guess See? that solves it. Put him away. We know Let's he's look. lying. Good safe drive. Good and safe. Good and safe. <laughs> like oh. Alright. Gotta talk to the guy again. 24 hours in a day, 24 beers in a case. Incident? I suppose not. I mean, I was married by a judge. What if I get a six pack? Does it mean I only have six hours to drink it? Hey, or do I have six minutes to drink it all? Challenge accepted. <laughs> 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 all right, let's talk with uh, Mr. Robbins here. We're trying to account for everyone. What can you tell me about the Reaper, sir? Came by in the morning. <laughs> This is my Social favorite liquor store on the Citadel. Some of <laughs> got a couple of bucks. Oh God, got a crossover! A Just think, Andromeda would have been good had she that been the case. Last night, and still extremely drunk. You expect me to believe that she bought a quart here in the morning and it lasted her and her friends a whole day? <laughs> you have some way of proving that I'm lying about when she came in here? You bet your ass I do, you <laughs> thieving <laughs> son of a bitch! I, I love the fact that. You can accuse people of lying, just slander yeah, their good from. family name. Even when they're no... just giving you basic information. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> it's just... It's like, it's like, it was around a quarter to five, it's like, around a quarter to five, huh? You're lying, I bet you're lying. <laughs> I bet you had her murdered here and had her body planted. <laughs> it's like, oh, I was just walking my dog the other day. The dog used to kill the victim? Let's find out. Or how's this? I'm going to miss him. Or, I'm going to miss her. It's like, oh yeah? Well, wh why do you have the ongoing interest in her? You're gonna just, uh, break up her marriage? And you think you can Yes! A bartender has interest in his regulars! <laughs> you didn't care much about her, you wanted to have her... Well, okay, that looks like a very truthful expression. Looks like I was mistaken. <laughs> He's not happy with me right now, I don't think. <laughs> Now that would be an interesting mechanic if they got gradually more pissed off at you. Her mother was trying. Why would they be pissed off at me? I'm adorable. Everybody loves me, Cole Phelps. Everybody loves Phelps. Do 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 do. Knows the old hag. <laughs> oh God, we need to make this TV show. By the name of McCaffrey. Not personally. Yeah, well, I don't get to be the nosy old hag. The book was in your room. It's Cole Phelps and his partner, obvious, Rusty. Gonna go around and beat the... You think you have some way to link me to McCaffrey? Musties, I don't know. Musty people. Musty the, people. The bums, because they don't bathe and all that. If you don't ask, you never find out. The police force of Los Here's Angeles. Robins, me, Robins. Did she know McCaffrey? Watch her for the reckless driving. Him. What I gather, the feeling <laughs> Phelps, Phelps, Phelps up the light now. Watch out for that car. Evolutionary <laughs> Watch out for that dude. <laughs> Watch out for that. <laughs> oh, person. I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. You think I could get in touch with Evelyn's mother? Put in a call Mother, at she's got other people in her life. Yeah, but she's like bed sick and all that. She's like eighty uh, or whatever. Got gotcha. the guy, huh? Evelyn never hurt anybody. Hey, you get that guy. I'm gonna get the guy who done dude her in. Phelps, is that a word, dude? Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's like yeah. He's no. <laughs> just like yeah, bro. What well, you don't get it, daddy? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, we're getting a, we're getting a reading. 
Leather King. I would love it if you responded to the calls and she's like, Oh my god, what? Leather King, interrupt. The fuck do you want, you little shit? Not keep the man waiting. I know it was you who took my sandwich from the refrigerator. Yeah, sorry about that. That uh, yeah, I got a message from the, from the captain. That motherfucker on dispatch who took my goddamn sandwich again! But I'm not bitter. No, I'm not bitter. I'm savory and creamy like my fucking sandwich I had! <laughs> uh oh. Got another Let's, dispatch call. Let's do another dispatch call. I feel like if we do one per episode, that'd be alright. Oh, that'll work. I don't want to spend too much time on the dispatch calls because it takes too long to get there and you don't even know if they're gonna work or not. I mean, just something to break up the monotony and maybe cause some more damage in the process. Yeah, I said Slight I wouldn't. Damage. Yeah, I was gonna keep the, the death of cars to a minimum. I never said people! <laughs> and. Ooh! Oh! Killed that car, sorry! This, uh -oh. one's about, this one's almost dead too. Please uh. don't kill your car. Please don't kill your car. It's lived to, a long I life. I need to get down to the dispatch call before that happens. <laughs> Come on. Please don't kill your car. Uh, excuse me. Just look how precious oh, God. it is. It doesn't want to die. Me. That lady also didn't want to die, but your car doesn't want to die. So he's doing all right. Just, just have a little faith in him. Come on, old boy. You can make it to the dispatch call. You can make this ramp too, huh? Uh, all right. So that took another year off its life. Come on, you old dog. You can uh, do it. Another year. More like <laughs> another twenty seconds. That killed it right there. Oh no! Uh, no, shit. old boy. Well, oh. now we're let's uh, get into this car. This <laughs> this better looks, steal this looks... a better looking civilian car. Yeah. yeah what? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Um, can I just... Phelps, just... you gotta jack the car. Just... What the hell? What? What we the don't. hell happened there? We're now back at back with the two stooges here on. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, open the car door. I can't open the car door. It's locked. It's not no, locked. You go. Did you this try is how you open again? the car door and you jiggle, jiggle, jiggle the little thing there and you, you open the car door, but it doesn't work. Well, I tried opening it and then I closed it and then it was closed again. How do I do this? But I'm tired of always being on the lam. On the lamb. Stick up you hear me, broad? Oh, the slang. It hurts. You're just a pair of games, you know. Don't do anything stupid. <laughs> all this slang. What? Those, those Aussies did their research. Uh, no, I said don't do anything stupid. Ah, oh, come on. So, uh, I like to call this Outrun Zero. I mean, they're in the, a convertible. It's not meant for speed. It's not meant for durability. It's just meant to, to you know, take you and your best gal out on the on the drive at the back streets and make out. Oh my God! He's certainly showing you. Holy do, shit! Do fucking awesome, crazy ass, <laughs> sick ass stunts while you're at it. My God! Oh, bro, you nearly stopped yourself. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, Jesus! All right, I said don't do anything stupid, you moron. You're the AI. You're supposed to be looking out for the AI. You're supposed to look out for yourself. <laughs> Think about your own, pal. <laughs> Boy, you're a worse driver than I am. And that's saying something, because I suck. All right. Yeah, get I got, out of the car. At least I got my car back, you know. Pull him over, and all of a sudden, just sees his girlfriend's corpse. It's like she wouldn't tell me to stop stopping, so I just, you know. Car 11K calling Her neck broke from that, you know, 50 foot launch in the air. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, yes, we have a uh, code 4 loco here. We're gonna need some twisted tea. Never even had a four loco before. 
you're better off not. I mean, it, it looks like it's a fucking energy drink or some shit. Yeah, that's I bet it tastes like it too, I bet. I mean, I'd rather have twisted tea, to be honest. It goes smooth like an energy drink, but it wires you like cocaine. Wow! Why would I want cocaine in my alcohol? <laughs> It's like having actual cocaine in your bottle of coke. Why would I want cocaine? I don't know. Because you're full loco, man. I mean, why would I need cocaine when three shots of espresso will do just fine? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or for me, one Red Bull. Woo! <laughs> Alright, here we are back at the police station. Donnelly wants to see us again. Ah. Probably more Black Dahlia bullshit. This is a, another case of very angry Phelps. Bust into the door. Okay, what? Do you have any idea how busy I am on this fucking case? I've been going back and forth all day, and you call me in to see some more Black Dahlia bullshit. You want to go, man? Smack him across the face. Hey, I'm talking to you. Can I just pull out my gun and shoot a cop and then get a, get an immediate game over? Can you give me that <laughs> option, please? You know, that would be really funny. What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry But even then, I think Cole Phelps would get off with a minor misdemeanor. A slap on the wrist. I agree, hey, Golden Boy, don't do that. You gotta buy everybody coffee this morning now. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Pick up a dozen donuts. Cartel classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. Teresa Terrelson didn't have a lipstick message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick. But she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp... Oh, uh, how? Sure you want to know, Ray? As far as we can be sure, it said, Cunt be... Oh. That's one way of looking at it. Hmm. Looking at what? Black Dolly has been tampering with our bodies! I mean, our... Cadavers! I mean, Some of us like to pay by the ladies who were murdered, he's tampering with the bodies. Like to pay at all. Why are you so I just can't believe a game actually used the C word. had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Captain, we have good leads in the Summers case. But it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. So we'll, we'll just not worry about this and we'll just do the case at hand. How's that? Cool. Like, this never happens. I mean, don't even say it outside the room. Wow, cunt BD. I said don't say it outside the room! What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, now they have to give Phelps another rap on the wrist. <sighs> Ow, stop. So, let's trace the address on this Gross Venner McCaffrey. Okay. Gr or Grover. Give me dispatch. I'm just gonna call him Grover. Seriously, it's pronounced Grover? Grovener. It's pronounced Grovener? It's Grovener, but I want to call him Grover instead of Gross Venner. So it's a silent S. I need an address for a Grovener McCaffrey. God, that's. It's like the most silent letter in a weird pronunciation. That's like the G in lasagna. It's like the S and the E are fucking silent. Thanks, ma'am. His my name, name is, is my name is spelled Kershplucken, but it's actually pronounced Kevin. Your name is as shady as fucking Worcestershire. <laughs> oh my god, that's worse. Let me pose a question. Depends. What you got to do with? Morals. Would it bother you to put the wrong person away? Nah. Depends on what? On whether anyone except the poor son of a bitch. On whether they pay me to get out. <laughs> 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 I'm a crooked cop. Uh. Well, now we're gonna head to Grosvenor McCaffrey's fucking apartment. We're gonna ignore this dispatch call because, you know, we're, we're, we're on a roll here. We're doing pretty good so far. Agreed. Unlike the last couple episodes mm -hmm. where, uh, somebody might have gotten away or killed us multiple times. I don't know. I mean, get <laughs> The indestructible fences strike again! Fine, I'll go the long way around. You need to obey the law, Phelps. You are a man of the law. 
Yeah, I'm a homicide detective. Not a traffic cop anymore. <laughs> I mean, you were solving murder cases as a we traffic cop, so it, you didn't really get much of a promotion. I was a first responder, and I just followed up on it. You know, perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> Nailed it. Splendid parking job as always, Phelps. If I do say so myself. <laughs> Kick open the door. Okay, what? Hello. Hmm. Fancy place he lived at. So he is at apartment six. Apartment that, six. That right. is three. Hmm. Oh, he lives in the cupboard under the stairs. Rooms five and six this way. Hello? Doesn't look like anybody's home. I'm not home. Terrible shit. Well then! Means there's nobody left in. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Want to do the honors, Phelps? Why even have a lock if that's what you, all you can do? Ooh! I can push on the right stick and mirror the camera. This makes it hard to control, though. But it makes it dramatic, though. Ooh, dramatic. Let's see, do I want drama in my game, or do I want actual gameplay that works? Uh, decisions, decisions. What if you had dramatic gameplay? Oh, look at this! Oh, no! The second half of the torn letter from her fucking mother! Torn from the letter we found inside Ooh, my. the At the very least, I'd say it ties McCaffrey to the scene. Hmm. Interesting. What else we got? Oh, oh, I... Ah, crap. I, 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 he said he was at home. He said he didn't know her. And we have the book. Let's see, Carruthers argues way out of this one. Great. Is that you, Grosvenor? Bang, 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 bang! What are you doing in here? We're from the LAPD. Throw the murder you weapon at her. <laughs> I'm sorry! Is he in trouble? Look, lady, we need to He's find going away for a long her. time, you lady. I mean, trouble. yes. He has a pigeon coop up on the roof. He spends his mornings up there when he's been drinking. How do we make all my beautiful little pigeons? <laughs> pigeons. I love my birds. Will you love me the way I love you? <laughs> My lovely birds. He starts openly sobbing while reading parts of the Communist Manifesto. <laughs> Comrade Marx, I'm sorry. <laughs> it is all right. You will be fine. What? Cool. Bites the head off. <laughs> Running on a hangover, McCaffrey? Sit down and we'll talk. I just. If he's got a hangover, get a bullhorn. <laughs> I was just thinking, we'll talk this out. Bang! It's like. Attention! Cover! <laughs> oh, God, that Please was. Please stop! Oh, God. In the name of the law! If you want somebody to hate you immediately when they have a hangover, yeah, do that. There he is. See him? Nope. Uh, or just, you know, get the car and just honk your horn really loud in front of him. Ow, 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 ow. He will be on his knees. Probably sobbing. God, that's terrible. Uh, we can't shoot? Nah, we gotta go after him. Alright, alright. We kind of need him alive and all that shit or whatever. I'd like to think this is part of Cole Phelps' training regimen. Like, but holy shit! Yeah, see? He says, hey, I need some exercise today. Is there a murder case? Becomes a six million dollar man. Did you see him, like, robotically speed up? He's just like, initiate tackle sequence. <laughs> The Cole 1000. We need to get downtown and wrap this thing up. The Cole 1000. It all makes sense. Less now, we're going to head into the climax of this case. 
the climax. We've got two motherfuckers in interrogation right now. We got Tiernan, the late hopping guy who saw her last, and, uh, well, fuck. Easy. We've got Tiernan, the late hopping motherfucker who saw her last. Yeah. And we got the Grosvenor McCaffrey guy whom she was always talking about and seemed to have known quite well. One of these men did it. Both of these men fit the bill. We need to figure out who fits the bill more. Hmm. Are we sending away the corpse kisser or the murderer? Not the corpse kisser. He's already been sent away. Oh, damn. Sorry, I was thinking of that. Uh, then, uh, I'm gonna go with the guy who had, you know, the bloody rebar and the shirt. Why don't these people dispose of the evidence? Ah! Made it. See, Nailed nothing to it. worry about. Well, we gotta interview both of them. We gotta use things from their interviews in order to actually interrogate sure them you fully. Can make a stick for one of these suspects, hmm. It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is. Average. Yeah. All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. So he likes to- he wants to kiss, kiss corpses, I'll be sure to give him a kissing worth remembering. I want a confession. <laughs> Sorry, sir? A kiss with a branding iron. <laughs> oh, God! Oh! Ooh. Anyway, you. Tiernan. Why did you run? You. I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. I do think it was you. Let's figure out why it was you. Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? Uh, well, I'm alive and she's dead. Lying fuck! <laughs> it's almost like the easy ground. button. Lying fuck button. Lying fuck! Lying fuck! It's like, what? What? <laughs> Cole Phelps doesn't have anything <laughs> clever. He just shouts, Lying fuck! McCaffrey lying fuck! It's <laughs> just like a parrot. It's like, hey, Rusty, I think we got a lying fuck over here. <laughs> it's like, I think we do, Phelps. <laughs> Pull the string on Cole Phelps and it says, Lying fuck! <laughs> Lying fuck! I hotel room and had some more to drink. I must have passed out. I woke up and she was gone. What time was this? Don't drink well, yourselves blackout drunk, stupid. No it's not confirm. good. No, there isn't. I knew you wouldn't believe me. I still don't believe you. Lying fuck! Alright, so let's talk about Aristotle's metaphysics. <laughs> what can you tell me about this book? You're saying Evelyn stole it. She wanted something of his. We either hang this on you or McCaffrey. Why not hang them both? Something. Seems a lot easier to just kill them both, I guess. I don't know. But that wouldn't be right. You'd be sending in a possibly innocent man to his death. Well, fine. We'll put both of them in a death coliseum, and the winner is innocent. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. Thought, winner is guilty because remember. the winner, I, the winner would have known how to murder them, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> You've been fighting with her. You fought. Oh, I can see that. A murder coliseum where the only weapons they can use are murder weapons. <laughs> actual murder weapons from actual murder cases. Well, this guy's lying. Is <laughs> this guy's lying his ass off? I mean, for real. Mm -hmm. She left, but she came back. She bought you a quart of whiskey to make it up to you. She told the liquor store owner. You're in deep trouble, buddy. <gasps> she wanted to care for me. She would never stop talking about McCaffrey. Mm, we got a jealous, uh, McCaffrey jilted lover here. Or one of those, one of those guy. nice guys, you know. I might as well have. What? He kicked her out. She had nowhere oh. to go. What about the access to the you murder weapon? A car, Tiernan. No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? Oh, it's a lug wrench. Oops. No, well, never mind. Coroner's report says that Evelyn was killed with a wrench. Was it a I wrench or a lug? And then planted the evidence at McCaffrey's apartment for us to find. We went to his apartment. McCaffrey was up on the roof. Evelyn stole the book. <laughs> McCaffrey went crazy when he found out. He said, he said he would put her out of her misery. He can be very. Uh, uh, well, we could charge him or leave him, but we still don't have anything to charge him. I mean, we got to interview. Uh, she always wore it. Got to interview Grosvenor, of course. Uh, big 
black circular disc okay. with a white Okay, I have a question. What do you got? What happens if you book the wrong guy? Does it give you a game over? I don't think so. We're going to talk to I think the game just goes, mm. You need to think about what you told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. Hmm. But we still want to make sure we're charging the right guy here. So let's go talk to the guy who went... Uh... Um... It's been going so well, Rockstar! Oh, it's been going so well, and we, we finally found one after... What is this, episode 20? Yep. You ready to it's actually not bad. Questions? You think I have all the answers? You fucking did it! <laughs> you snarky son of a bitch! Let's see, let's see where this takes us. I'm a serial killer. All right, let's talk about your alibi. Someone died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. Don't you mean a woman script, you misogynist fuck? I'm working on a manuscript. It said I did not kill her. You were out at the rail yard. And what do you have that proves I was there? What do I have that proves I was <laughs> Well, uh, how about this uh, torn letter that you got? Yeah. Half of Augusta Summers' last correspondence with her daughter. Like, yeah, what, what you think about, about that? I got you. After you were yeah. done beating Evelyn, you searched her and found her mother's letter. Well, here, that detective, I'm Evelyn's mother. You. Tears off the wig. I know nothing Good. about her or Evelyn's goddamn mother. What a twist! So what was it doing on your writing desk? Oh! Oh! I don't know, but if I didn't put it there, somebody else did. Try exercising your powers of Ooh, could it be a frame job? Is he just a dickhead? That's the, that's the thing they're trying to say. You know, what was it really, Grosvenor, or did Tiernan set him up? And the note from her mother, and your blood-stained clothing. We have you cold, McCaffrey. Wow, the blood-stained clothing in the lug wrench could have been placed as well. Evelyn Summers, I would be stupid huh. enough to leave the evidence in my apartment. Yes, I would think you'd be that stupid. <laughs> I don't believe you, Grosvenor. The Evelyn well, exactly shit. You killed her. You can prove that I wanted to kill Evelyn? Let's see. How about this? Tiernan is prepared to testify that you threatened Evelyn's life in his presence. Self-preservation. That's understandable. He's really cocky. Okay, I'll level with you. Tiernan killed Evelyn. He came to me for help. I listened to him, and he explained why he did it. Tiernan went to you So McCaffrey help. says that, that Tiernan did it. That's how it went down. And Tiernan Ooh. says that McCaffrey did it. Oh, that didn't, that didn't help at all. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I like I this. Things and told him I would dispose of them. But you didn't. Speak to Tiernan. He'll give it up. Hmm. All right. Let me just check one quick thing real quick before I decide if you should be charged or not. Just, just need to use the phone for a minute. Hang on. This is getting interesting. Now I know why you like this one. Putting you through now. Just gotta, just gotta follow up on something. Twelve forty-seven. How can I help, detective? I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Let's uh, do a little background check. Oh. Ooh. 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 Oh. 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 Lovely. Well, he's gonna love to hear this. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about your military you service. Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw. It changes a man. Came back here that determined doesn't to change things. make it okay, though, dude. A pen. The pen's Robert mightier than the M16, that. you know. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point. Yes, you have. Y yes, you, you, you have. You lying fuck! You're lying. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is looking bad. Yeah, um, <clears throat> parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor. Into an assault charge. Like this. Yeah, you nervous shit. <laughs> it's like, oh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, well, hmm. Yeah, averting your eyes doesn't doesn't really look good. <laughs> you're you're going away. About you and your dishonorable discharge, beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. 
Your whole life is a fraud. Oh. She was a goddamn peasant whore. She tried to steal from my wallet. I could have fought for this country. I could have... You beat her because she stole from you. Because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch. What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and... You sue her! How is a man supposed Serve to... Serve with papers. A you have her arrested. Summer, you, you don't kill her. You don't beat her up. You c and she got what was coming to her. Oh! Oh, you there fucking it did it. But we're not going to charge him just yet. We've got to follow up on one more thing. Oh. Are we going to check the background of the other guy? Yep. we got to ask uh, what uh, Tierden thinks of... of McAfee. Hmm. You spoken to McCaffrey? I can go. It's all been cleared up. Not quite. Nope. We have one more question we need to ask, James. Then I think we will be done. Yep. Sure. One more question, and then we will be done. <laughs> so Evelyn passed out, and you walked out. What happened next? I woke up in the morning. A uh, likely story, you liar. Uh oh. I think you stayed up till two thirty because you were too busy killing her. I, I didn't like that look. I know That's a bad you. look. You went out looking oh no. For her. Tell me oh, what no. really happened. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you, you sound guilty. You sound so guilty, dude. Oh dear. You wound up at McCaffrey's. You were still incredibly drunk. You passed out on his floor. It's time to tell me what really happened. Hmm. McCaffrey woke me up the next morning and he showed me the lug wrench and the letter and the box and he said I came in with him last night. Oh shit. He said that I killed Evelyn. So the framer got and framed? Or was it the framer oh, who did the but, framing? Oh, he could have been pinned! Oh, this is cool. And I don't know oh, who do you believe? Who do you believe? Hmm, the guy with oh, the prior, so the guy cool. who could have really just blacked out, killed her without even knowing it. Oh, this is going to drive me nuts. Was it me? Was it him? Was it him? Hmm. Fuck. God. Uh, do we have something to fingerprint? No, nope, we've done everything. We've done everything. So now it's up to us to figure out who to charge. We've asked all the questions, we've presented all the evidence, we've got all the clues, we've gotten everything. Now it's time to charge some... Oh no, this... Oh, he's still up there? Okay. Well, who's it, go hey, uh... who's it gonna be? Is it Tiernan or McCaffrey? <laughs> Tiernan or McCaffrey? Hey, uh, floating boy, you got a quarter? Tiernan or McCaffrey? Tiernan or McCaffrey? Should we phone a friend? Should we ask the audience? 50-50? No, let's see. Well... I think it's pretty obvious who we should be charging. The guy who screams she had it coming is far more guilty than the guy who sobbed wondering if he killed her. Murder of Evelyn mm -hmm. She was a sad lady who never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. Now, oh, well. Congratulations, boys. Yeah, he's not You're fighting back. back. Another red to boot. Another crap. red. <laughs> now, oh, great. I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse, and neither will the grand jury. Something, something, to gas chamber? Mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot in the prison graveyard. Oh. So we'll put him away, we'll spit on him, and he can just... <laughs> <laughs> So it's another, uh, that's another murderer in the, in the bag. Yeah. The vehicle damage yeah, was, was, oh, the injuries is, oh, and the city damage is, oh. Hey, that's three stars. Oh, that ending was so cool. Yeah, I like that case. That was another, that was another good case. Oh. Before we get to our last homicide case. <gasps> last. Let's have ourselves a military flashback see where the cracks of the wonderful facade of Phelps start to give way. His gunny is dead, first platoon is in worse shape. That medic is the crazier, the bravest man alive. Now we rally with the first, the try for the Nambu. It's sheer to the left. To the right, it goes right through a pass with two Nambus and Infilade. Sheer to the left, sheer to the right. You 
back off this fucking bridge. They'll start walking the mortars back to their own positions. We only have I'm minutes. I'm in charge here, Sergeant. Get your men off the bridge, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? We don't have time for this, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? My company, 22nd Marines, Lieutenant. And we just saved your ass by fording the river. My orders are to reconnoiter the... Oh. I think that point is now moot. You have ten men left. My orders are to save what's left. Cool Phillips is a man who really has a pull rank and all that. You know, love, loves the power and all that. I guess that is his issue. Huh. Well, we'll see you next time in Illinois.